Happy Monday, folks. We're going to do some observations from the game yesterday that took place for the Detroit Lions and Chicago Bears. And look, there's going to be some negativity. There's going to be some positivity. Um, we're we're going to kind of do a little more clear-headed way to today instead, instead right after the game where you're very angry because the game freaking sucked when you lose, right? But we definitely got some observations we got to talk about. The trajectory of this football team right now is not going in the direction we want them to go. They have an opportunity to bounce back on Saturday at home versus the Denver Broncos, who are playing really good right now, very good defense. Gonna be it, and their offense is starting to actually heat up. So it's gonna be a difficult, difficult game for the Detroit Lions. Uh, but let's let's go ahead and go in some observations here. The offense right now is struggling. Ben Johnson is struggling, and it all starts to me with the offensive line. We, anytime the offensive line is playing well, the Lions can run the football. We can kind of dictate the direction of the game. But when it doesn't play well, it's it's booty cheeks, and that's what it is. And in the first half of the game yesterday, the Lions offensive line was doing a good job. Second half, we're getting demolished. Taylor Decker falling off a cliff. Awasika having issues. Penalties. You know, losing Frank Ragnow, then losing Jonah Jackson. He was in this game, but obviously he was injured throughout the season. Um, it, it's killing this team, and you got to have a sound offensive line for this offense to work. It is, it's brutal right now. When you don't have that sound offensive line, when you don't have everybody in there, the offense just doesn't click. It just doesn't. We have now seen it throughout this season. I think that is now something that we can say for sure, that if you don't have Frank, Jonah, and everybody on this offensive line, Graham Glasgow, the offense is, is a shell of itself. It is a shell of itself, and it's it's not good. So Frank Ragnow has got to get back in this game for Saturday because it's a big, big deal. Let me know in the comment section right now, how do you feel about the Detroit Lions offense and Ben Johnson? So it, it, the offensive line is struggling. It's having issues. Ben Johnson's got to figure out how to get this out of the rut. This is the way it is. The Lions offensive line is having problems. So what can we do to make life easier? We got to do better plays, better options for this football team, and surround it towards less time in the pocket for Jared Goff because he's getting less time. So that's what we got to do there, at least from, from a scheme perspective. And then the there's plays like the fourth and one delayed handoff. When it's a fourth and one, delayed handoff is probably the worst pot choice you can give. You're, you're <laughs> They're playing to stop the run. That is exactly generally what defenses do, and that's what the Chicago Bears did here in a fourth and one. So a delayed handoff, you're not really tricking anybody. And I think Ben Johnson outthinks himself in some of these play calling, and that's unacceptable. He's got to get better here. Definitely got to get better. Jared Goff has got to stop turning the football over, and you can't be a consistent winner. You can't win games when you turn the ball over three three times a game. Just can't do it. It's unacceptable play. And I'm not a, a Goff homer. I'm not a Goff lover. I'm not a Goff hater. But his play has been unacceptable. That's the fundamental number one thing a quarterback has to do is not turn the football over. Don't fumble, throw interceptions. What has happened now? Fumble, interceptions in a lot. Last last four four games been really bad. Really bad. Last week, zero, thank God. But if you remember last week, they actually fumbled the very first snap. We have got to stop this. I don't know what needs to be done. I don't know how to really fix it because I thought a couple weeks ago when Jared Goff turned the ball over, I think it was three times, and we had four turnovers with special teams, I thought it was an anomaly, but it has not been an anomaly. It has been consistent now, and, it, and this has got to stop. It's unacceptable play. Whether you like Goff or not, you can't allow this to happen. And again, it goes back to the offensive line. He's, he's nervous. He's scared. He's throwing wobbly passes. His play has got to improve. It has to improve. If it doesn't, then the Lions are not going to really do a whole lot. But if you're, tr you know, you want to be a good team, you have to improve there. And look, with the offensive line, it can improve with Frank Ragnow coming back. Consistent health. 
The offense can improve with that. The offense can improve if Jared Goff stops turning the football over. So there is signs, and that's a good thing, that the offense can be fixed. It's not a lack of talent. It's lack right now of fundamentals and doing dumb things like penalties and turnovers. That stuff can be corrected, and that's the positive outlook. Is when it comes to the offense, I feel like it can get corrected. Ben Johnson, he's proven it that he's he's been good. You know, he's been a rut lately. Jared Goff has proven that he can go to stretch without turnovers. The offensive line has shown that it can be dominant. So all those phases show that the, the offense can improve, and that's a positive thing. It's an outlook there. Well, So let me know in the comments section, do you think the offense will improve? Uh, why for yes, I'm for no. Special teams has been butt cheeks too as of late. I don't know what's going on there. I, I think it can improve. It's special teams. Let's go to the defense here. That's, this is the big problem with this team. And I, I know they're going to see here, well, the Lions defense held them. The Lions this, that in the last couple weeks. Okay, yeah. But the problem here is not just coaching. It's not just injuries. It's lack of personnel. This defensive line has a lack of personnel problem, and I don't think it can be fixed. Not until the offseason. And that is a big issue for this team going forward is I don't think it really matters who you have out there right now. Romy Akwara, Julian Akwara, Charles Harris, who is inactive, they're not good. Bruce Irvin, who was inactive due to injury, hopefully can come back, and that may help for sure. Um, Ali McNeil injured him coming back and help. James Houston come back can help. Yeah, and C.J. Garner-Johnson. Those guys coming back, it will help the defense. But the defensive line is still a major issue, and the only real way, logical way, that I see it getting fixed for the Lions is the offseason. You know, you can look at the linebacker and play and be like, okay, you know, they're, they're honestly not too bad. I mean, you could see, like, okay, you need to improve here and there, Jack Campbell and Alex Anzalone. Okay, but it's not like severe lack of talent to where it's the defensive line. And here's another problem, and it comes to the lack of talent in the secondary. And I know I, Jerry Jacobs has been getting destroyed. And this is this going to tie to Aaron Glenn here in a minute. Why in God's green earth is Jerry Jacobs one-on-one, -on -one, no help, no safety help, always on the number one wide receiver, that right there is irritating. I know we don't have Emmanuel Mosley, C.J. Garner-Johnson. I know this secondary is lacking personnel, and you're going to need to get it in the offseason as well, 100%. Um, th th there's no doubt. Jerry Jacobs is not a number one. He's not a number two. He's he's right now, th they're having him going against one-on-ones on, one on with number ones. That's absolutely fundamentally unacceptable. And right there, that's an Aaron Glenn thing. Jerry Jacobs is a backup, in my opinion. But he's forced to play in a position of fail. He's not going to succeed. We have seen it now since the Ravens game. It's been a, a dumpster fire, and they refuse to change it up. You say, well, there's no personnel. Okay, I get it. You're right. But why is Jerry Jacobs not getting any sort of help? Why is he against number ones? Why are we playing 12 yards off in soft coverage? You can't do that. You just can't do that in the, the NFL. It's not a winning formula. Give Stephen Gilmore a try. There is nothing to lose at this point with giving somebody else another shot to try. It has failed. We know Jerry Jacobs is not good. We know he's in a bad position, yet he is still there. Give it another. What is the? He's getting burned on nearly every play. So give Stephen, Stephen Gilmore a shot. What's the worst that can happen? He gets burned on every play? Well, we're already seeing it. So why not try something else? So lack of personnel. And it's, it's, a, it's a bad scheme. It's uh, Aaron Glenn to me, and I, I, I was reading comments from John Kaminsky and Kirby Joseph very concerning to me. Um, they look defeated. This team, is, th this this defense has been awful since the Ravens game. 
They're defeated. Their confidence is gone, and they're, they're talking about we don't have confidence. You can read it yourself. There's not much that can be done with this defense. Uh, you know, there's only four games remaining if the Lions get in a playoffs, obviously a playoff game. And so that's the downfall. So for the Lions to win, this offense has to be great. It has to be perfect. And when it's not perfect, we lose. So right now, the, the this last game, you have a bunch of three and outs in offense, you're going to lose the game because there's the defense. They can only do so much. We know the weakness of this team. You have to be excellent in offense because the defense is just not good. So that is the problem with this team. Yes, we're 9-4, and four, and that's a, that's a positive here, folks. We're 9-4. and four. We're per um, NBC, uh, we're 99% chance to make the playoffs. Still not 100%, but 99% to make the playoffs. We got it. We we have a must win must win game on Saturday. Then obviously, you know the Vikings, who who's kind of really fallen off a cliff. They won about three to zero. What a game. The the Dallas will will destroy us, and then we we're home against the Vikings. So the great chance Lions make the playoffs. Is it certain we win the NFC North right now? I'm not going to say it's certain. We got a we got a two game lead with four games to go. Lions got to win. They have to win on Saturday. They don't win on Saturday. The Lions legitimately could lose the NFC North because if you look at the Packers' schedule, tonight they face the Giants. They're going to win that game. Their schedule is pretty easy. So you have to win. You have to win um, for sure. So there's positives and there's negatives. I think the Lions are a good team, not a great team. We have a lot of improvement to do on this roster. This off season, we we got a lot to f- we have a lot. I mean, Brad Holmes got a lot to think about, especially when it comes to Jared Goff extensions for multiple players. You know, Jared, it's not up to it's not up to you or me, Brad Holmes or anybody else. What I say all the time, if Brad, if if you are a Jared Goff fan, you want him extended. It's up to Jared Goff. He's got to stop turning the football over. That's my biggest issue. Uh, just. The turning the football over has to stop. You'll never win in the NFL if you turn it over. That is a proven stat. So if, you, if you're if you a fan of Jared Goff, you got to hope he's got to stop turning the football over. That To me, that's the biggest thing. Just don't do that. If you're a hater of Jared Goff, you're getting what you like right now. At the end of the day, I want this team to win. I don't care who it is. got to win. You know, I want this team to succeed, this offense, defense, special teams to succeed. But it's it's a looking gloom right now. But it's not all gloom. Lions got an opportunity on Saturday to get to ten wins, continue our playoff run, try to win the NFC North. With that said, folks, audio.